So inverse functions are um, something, different kind of function, kind of specific. Um, it's gonna be, we're gonna have a new notation with this. The way we write inverse functions, it's f to the negative one instead of f, or with our of x, f to the negative one of x. But how we say this is f inverse, or f inverse, f inverse x or of x. Um, now this is not to the negative one power. Okay, so even though it looks like f to the negative one power, it's just a, it's a different kind of notation, f inverse. So nothing's being done to the negative one power. It's nothing like back in the exponents um, that we did, the exponent rules. So well, kind of what, what it is is um, these two functions, uh, our original f with the f inverse, are when all the x and y values are switched, are, are swapped around, switched around. Okay, so if we have an f function with a, that's x and y, like we're used to, f inverse is going to be, have the same values, but the x values are going to be whatever the y's were for the original function, and the um, now the new y values are going to be whatever was x in the original function. And when we do an example, it'll hopefully make a little more sense than the just general definition I'm giving. Um, so to find the equations of an inverse, to find the equation of an inverse function. Okay, I'm going to give you some steps. So first, because normally we're going to give it the original f of x, so we're going to replace replace whatever that f of x is with y, which we know that's the f of x just means the y value. Okay, so we're going to do that. So now that we can switch our x and y's, so every time we see an x, we're going to put in y. Every time we see a y, we're going to put an x. We're going to swap the x and y's. And then we're going to solve for y get y alone, and then replace y with f inverse x. So it's kind of swapping around our x's and our y's. Okay, so we're going to do an example. We're going to come up with the equation, then we'll graph them to compare. So let's say my original function f of x is 2x plus 3. Okay, so first, to come up with the equation, remember these steps. My first step, replace f of x with y. y equals 2x plus 3. Now, I'm going to swap my x's and y's. x equals 2y plus 3. Now i got to solve for y, get y alone. So I'm going to subtract 3 on both sides. Take 3 away from both sides, so it basically comes with minus 3 on the left side. Divide by 2. And I'm going to switch the sides right here. So I have y equals x minus 3 divided by 2. And then I'm going to use my inverse notation, f inverse equals x minus 3 over 2. Or if I want to break it apart, it'd be do my y equals mx plus b form. 1 half x minus 3 halves, or 1 and a half. OK, so now let's graph these see what the graph looks like. Start to kind of get a better idea of what this all means. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do my original function in blue and I'm going to do my inverse function in red. Uh, I'm just going to keep this x minus 3 over 2 because I know you can graph these pretty quickly with your y equals mx plus b but we're going to, we're going to plot some points so that we see this whole swapping of x and y a little better. Uh, a little straighter. Okay, so I'm going to pick a few x and y's. Let's just do negative 1, 0, and 1. And like I said, I know you could graph this pretty quickly, but I'm going to pick these points so you can observe some things. 
So if I plug in negative 1, I'm going to have negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Plug in 0, I'll 3. Plug in 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5. So I'm going to plot that. Negative 1, 1. 0, 3. And oh, looks like I need to go a little higher. And 1, 5. So there is my graph of my original function. Now I'm going to really be specific about what x's I pick here, and you'll see the y in a minute. Uh, let's say I plug in x is 1. So if I plug in 1, I'm going to have 1 minus 3 is negative 2, divided by 2 is negative 1. How about 3? If I plug in 3, 3 minus 3 is 0, divided by 2 is 0. Kind of look comparing to the original function. Next I'm going to pick 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So notice how all these points, x's and y's, are flip-flopped. I could pick up any different x, figure out what y is, the inverse is going to be the reverse points. So now for the inverse function I have 1, negative 1, 3, 0, and 5, 1. Okay, so there's my inverse function. So this is the inverse this is the original. And I'm going to tell you that inverse functions, you know, this isn't something you need to have memorized quite yet, but you'll notice in a couple of the problems that we do, you'll have to do all of these inverse functions and the original are reflected across this line. Which what that line is, is y equals x. So they're always going to be reflected over y equals x, which this one you can see it is. It's reflected over the line y equals x. So that's always been the case with inverse functions.